Hello students. Today I am going to discuss the topic distributed energy sources or distributed energy generations. It is the second lecture, second topic in power system 1. The code is BTW 50118. It's a series of power system 1 subject IKGPTU branch electrical engineering fifth semesters. Before that we are studied about the generation of conventional and non-conventional or renewable energy sources. So right now the topic is distributed energy generations. This is also the part of microgrid you may say it and this is also the part of some renewable energy sources. So the main content is first of thing in our mind going to what is distributed energy generation? Distributed energy generation kya hota hai? Iske baare mein hum log study karenge is topic mein. Uske advantages padhenge or disadvantages padhenge hum log kya hai? Aur wo uske kitne types hote hain aur kahan kahan pe applications hota hai? Each and everything will be covered on this topic. You can refer the different different books already mentioned during my previous lectures. And if you want to complete your overall power systems or overall your semester all subjects you may subscribe my channel only if you are the students of electrical engineering in any university located in India. So the topic is what is distributed energy generation. Distributed generation refers to a variety of technologies that generate electricity at or near where it will be used such as solar panels and combined heat and power. It means distributed generation is such like a such a, a small type, a small size generating power plant which are located near the utility ability. It means the site located where the utility available, especially in the uh, desert area as well as hilly areas or you can say it's very beneficial for rural areas also. Then the distributed generations may serve a single structure such as a home or business or it may be part of a microgrid. In the lecture of microgrid, I already studied microgrid connected through a different types of sources, energy generations like solar, wind and different different uh, like storage units also. So the distributed generation is such a type of such type of generating units. Then when connected to the electric utilities, lower voltage distribution lines, distributed generations can help support delivery of clean, reliable power to additional customers and reduce electricity losses along transmission and distribution lines. What is the means? This is what we this line. In this line, we have said that the distributed generation is nearby your home or utility areas. अगर ये वहां पे लोकेटेड होगा तो जो हमारा ट्रांसमिशन लॉसेस है वो हमारा बिल्कुल भी नहीं होगा बिकॉज़ द ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम्स इज एलिमिनेटेड ड्यूरिंग द डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड जनरेशन सिस्टम अगेन सम डिस्ट्रीब्यूशंस लॉसेस आल्सो अकर इन लाइन लॉसेस सो इट्स विल आल्सो रिड्यूसेस एंड मेन पार्ट इज दैट यूटिलिटीज लोअर वोल्टेज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लाइंस व्हाट दे मींस इट मींस व्हेन द सप्लाई केम फ्रॉम अ फार एरिया अराउंड 2 किलोमीटर और 3 किलोमीटर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लाइन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लाइन the level of voltage at the last end of the location is too low and the quality of power is too worst at the end unit connected through the supply. So when we connect the distributed generating systems in between the distribution system and when it will synchronize the power quality will be improved. It means your power will be improved. Then the type of distribution, distributed generation, is distributed energy generation. Kitne types ke hote Generally, when we cover the uh, distributed generation, it's generally two types. First is in the residential sectors, common distributed generation systems includes when we discuss regarding the distributed generation systems, energy generation in residential area, we have a different types. Like first is solar photovoltaic panel. You can locate in your rooftop and get the energy during the peak load then the small wind turbine it's for irrigation purposes or some lighting purposes 
natural gas fire fuel fuel cells means you can also have some fuel cells like batteries and all to store the energy during off peak time and it will utilize during the peak time then the emergency emergency backup like generators means we uh, uh, establish a small site generation generators uh, dg sets in our home or our area to complete the power requirement during the peak load as well as during the unavailability of the power to improve the quality of the power then second is the in the commercial and industrial sectors distributed generations can include resources such as जब हम इंडस्ट्री और इनकी बात करेंगे कि वहाँ पे कैसे हम डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड जनरेशन कर सकते हैं तो वहाँ पे क्या होता है कम्बाइंड हीट एंड पावर सिस्टम्स वेन यू विल गो फॉर द गैस पावर प्लांट और थर्मल पावर प्लांट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एनर्जी एफिशिएंट डिवाइसेस विल बी अवेलेबल जिसके थ्रू हम लोग पावर को रिस्टोर कर सकते हैं जैसे अगर मैं बात करूँ वन टॉपिक वन पार्ट इज एसेसरीज इन ए बॉयलर लाइक इकोनोमाइजर इकोनोमाइजर यूज द बेस्ट हीट टू प्रीहीट द वॉटर बिफोर इंटरिंग इन द बॉयलर इट मीन्स इकोनोमाइजर क्या करता है इकोनोमाइजर एक पाइप अरेंजमेंट होता है जिसके थ्रू हम जो फ्लू हॉट गैसेज है उसको रिलीज करते हैं और उसके सराउंडिंग टर्बाइन में वॉटर इनपुट देने से पहले हम उसके थ्रू इकोनोमाइजर के थ्रू हम उस वॉटर को पास करते हैं तो वो वॉटर क्या होता है इट विल प्री हीटेड सो द डिमांड ऑफ हीट रिक्वायर्ड लेस इन द केस ऑफ नॉर्मल वॉटर देन दोटर सोलर वोल्टेक पैनल्स मीन्स डिफरेंट दे कैन एस्टेब्लिश ए बल्क साइज power plant uh, solar power plant in their rooftop as well as the uh, uh, vacant areas in like uh, desert like jaisalmer barmer and different types of hilly areas in india also then the wind power plant uh, different types of wind uh, company like uh, synergy as well as uh, uh, some uh, different company in, uh, like uh, adanis and uh, Uh, Suryas, they are using wind power generation in the area of coastal, coastal area of Gujarat, and it will a very good example of distributed generation systems, and it will maintain the power quality of uh, Gujarat Electricity Board as well as the Power Grid Corporation of India Limited. Same the hydro power. When you are visiting the rural areas of Himachal and uh, Uttarakhand or like northeast, so where they use bulb turbine. to develop a micro or uh, just such type of uh, a small hydro power plant and it will generate it through this power and it's not a connected through any grid it's direct supply through the customer in these areas then the biomass combustion biomass combustion in rural areas it's a government funded projects they where they use animal dung and the waste uh, bio waste to generate the electricity like jet rope and all then municipal solid waste in incineration means a uh, especially in delhi and various places the sulab sachale will be available so the solid waste in the uh, solid waste came in a particular areas like uh, sewage power, they will generate a sewage power plant where they segregate the gases available in the wastage of uh, sewage waters and all then the fuel cell fired by natural gas or biomass they will also use fuel cells then reciprocating combustion engines including backup generators which are maybe fueled uh, fueled by oil so different types of aap dekhenge ki distributed energy generation available hai in the residential also as well as industrial also where they will generate the electricity by using distributed generation system ab next kya aata hai generally uh, in your university examination they may ask the what is the uh, advantages and disadvantages of uh, distributed energy generation system so further for uh, discussion this we have some advantages advantages like first advantage is existing cost effective distribution generation technologies can be used to generate electricity at homes and business using renewable energy resources such as solar and wind i already discussed in previous uh, uh, slide that the generation of uh, distributed generation system in particular residential area is generally solar or wind so they will generate the electricity as per as their requirement as per as their peak load uh, demand and uh, this uh, facility can improve the overall quality and demand of the power uh, power supply in particular areas then the distribution generation can harness energy that might otherwise be wasted ab uh, jab main discuss karunga to isse pehle maine discuss kiya tha in the case of economizer aur super heater ki bhi baat hum karenge thermal power plant mein jahan pe hum steam ko super steam exchangers hote hain wahan bahut sare jahan pe hum steam ko preheat karte hain super heat tak le jate hain jahan isme moisture content kuch bhi nahi hota hai to wahan pe kya hota hai agar hum us heat ko jo ki hamare 
आफ्टर बर्निंग ऑफ कोल और ऑयल जो हमारा हीट गैसेज जो है वो रिलीज हो रहा है एटमोसफेयर में वेन इट विल अदरवाइज इफ डिडेंट यूज देन इट विल बी वेस्टेड सो वी कैन यूज द वेस्टेड पार्ट ऑफ द एनर्जी टू जनरेट द और इम्प्रूव द क्वालिटी ऑफ द पावर जनरेशन और एफिशियंट द सिस्टम ऑफ ओवरऑल जनरेटिंग सिस्टम देन बाई यूजिंग लोकल एनर्जी रिसोर्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूट जनरेशन रिड्यूसेज और एलिमिनेट द लाइन लॉस वेस्ट एनर्जी दैट हैपन्स ड्यूरिंग ट्रांसमिशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन I already discussed in first uh, slides when you generate in electricity at the part of utility area, then the transmission or distribution losses will be eliminated because no transmission required and no distribution uh, line required. You can generate your electricity in your area and it will consumed by your uh, particular uh, area. So it's not a big deal to save the energy. Next is the disadvantages of distribution energy generation. Distribution generation system require a footprint, and because they are located closer to end user, some distributed generation systems might be unpleasant to the eye or cause land use concern. Main thing when you will uh, uh, when you will uh, uh, launch a particular uh, uh, distributed generation systems like solar or uh, wind, it requires some area. and uh, sometimes uh, the wind uh, power plant produces such of noises that are totally unpleasant when you are uh, located your home near the wind power plant then the distributed generation technologies that involve combustion particularly burning fossil fuels can produce many of same type of impact as larger fossil fuel fired power plants such as air pollution these impact may be smaller in scale than the impact from a large power plant but may also be closer to populated area it means जितने भी आप देखते हो हेवी रेंज के जो पावर प्लांट है उसमें जो हम मैंने इकोनोमाइजर इसकी बात करी थी इट विल जनरली लोकेटेड फार फ्रॉम द पॉपुलेटेड एरिया सो मे बी सम ट्रांसमिशन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लॉसेज विल बी अकर इन द केस ऑफ व्हेन वी आर यूजिंग द वेस्टेज ऑफ फॉजिल फ्यूल फायर पावर प्लांट्स Then there are some distributed generation technologies such as waste incineration, biomass combustion, and combined heat and power may require water for steam generation or cooling. For uh, uh, like a uh, biomass energy generation or maybe after the gas when we will burn the biomass gas, we generate some steam for steam power plant. So we require water also. And the smell are it's not a pleasant for everyone. So maybe the gas leakage in environment it will also affect the some species. Uh, and also affect our health also uh, if some leakage will happen uh, due to some accident and also then the next is the distributed generation system that huge combustion may be less efficient than centralized power plants due to efficiency of scale when we will discuss the efficiency of solar wind or other distributed generation system the overall generation efficiency is very less as compared to the normal generating plant but the main concern is due to the environmental effect due to the green energy uh, that's why we are using distribution distributed energy systems and when we require the overall capital cost for the particular uh, uh, establishment of the particular power plant so then we will go for that otherwise the overall efficiency will be less as compared to normal power plant or big size power plant so the main question came uh, in your examination is if they ask two mark question they may ask what is distributed energy generation second questions may be ask the types of in a distributed energy generation system especially in residential as well as rural and the third question is what is the advantages and disadvantages of distributed energy generation systems so these are the it's a very a small topic in your first unit its maximum number came for this particular topic is 4 if they ask the disadvantages and disadvantages and disadvantages of distributed energy generation system otherwise it's a two mark questions came in your syllabus it may be uh, the application of uh, the types of distributed energy generation system or question came what is distribution generation systems you can explain thank you